Happy Friday. Welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. We're back with another weekly favorite, which are our favorite videos to do. First up is a show that we've both been loving. Oh my God. It's Four <laughs> Weddings and a Funeral. It's a Hulu original by Mindy Kaling. You guys know we love Mindy. We love her uh, death. We love her so much. And so we knew we'd love this show, but we had actually never seen the movie. Mm -mm. And it's now from, I want to watch it. It's from 1994. Yeah, it's, an, old, it's an older film. Um, And I always thought it looked cute, but we never watched it. But the show is kind of like an adaption of that movie. Mm -hmm. and it's about four best friends living in London um, and they're all like Americans but they mm -hmm. move to London and they all have different careers um, but they go through a lot of you know real normal life things mm -hmm. and so it's kind of just like how as a group they cope with those things mm -hmm. um, I mean we actually only watched the first three episodes so yeah because they she's releasing them or Hulu is releasing them in increments of four I don't know because it says new episodes every Wednesday so maybe it, I think there are 12 in the first season so maybe they are just doing four episodes each Wednesday for a month I'm not really sure yeah um, but um yeah so there's only at this time we're filming this there's only four episodes released and we each only made it through three yesterday because it's they're they're long episodes yeah um because you know like if it's an original Hulu or Netflix I think they're a full hour I believe mm -hmm. anyways it's so good yeah, I couldn't guys, stop watching I almost stayed up and watched the fourth I episode I know it's so good if you guys like romantic comedies you would love it mm -hmm. it's so Mindy it's amazing. Honestly, I haven't been this impressed with the show since, like, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I know. I read reviews, and people said that they felt like the writing wasn't good, and the show premise wasn't good, but the acting was really strong. The acting was really good. Yeah, and, um, so, I mean, it, it's personal preference. We love everything about it. Yeah. But I will say the acting is, like, top-notch. I was they very cast impressed. it perfectly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's next? Okay, next up is a tanning mitt, and if you guys follow um, things I bought and liked on Oh, did she post this? Yes. I love her. Um, we'll link her Instagram down below, but it's things I bought and liked. That's her handle. And she just posts things she buys and likes. Like, she, no one ever sends her things. She only no, posts like she no buys. No PR. Very, just like a normal lady. And then just well, I do think she has money to spend yeah I mean like, she's she per she's a, she's a consumer yeah yeah we can put it that way um but we appreciate it because she definitely has really good taste mm -hmm. and even though she spends money on like nicer things which we do too I mm -hmm. mean I think that's a good way to live like you save up and buy nicer quality mm -hmm. instead of a lot of not so good quality things but um she'll say like oh this was worth the money this wasn't and so whenever she posts something that's affordable you know it's good mm -hmm. because she likes to spend money on like <laughs> high quality items which yeah. I, again we do as well but anyway she posted this tanning mitt from amazon it's so funny it has a thumb i know oh yeah the other ones don't i don't think they do right i don't think they do um she posted this tanning mitt from Amazon and it's only seven dollars and she said that she had tried the Tarte one which is the one I wanted yeah and she had tried another one what was the other one I can't remember but very nice tanning mitts that are more expensive than seven dollars and she said this one was the best out of all the ones she had tried you can put it in the washer which is a huge bonus mm -hmm. and the one we had buy been buying previously was the Ulta brand which I believe is like six dollars yeah it was cheap and it would but it felt cheap it felt cheap you couldn't wash it I was like throwing them away I after. had washed it before oh like mm -hmm. four uses it was just very cheap so for a dollar more to get this I already have used it a couple times and washed it it washed flawlessly it it makes your tan perfect. Like, yeah. You could be new no to tanning. Strengths. Yeah, new to tanning, trying this out, and it will leave you with a flawless tan. It must be something with the material. It just gives you the nicest, even application. I'm so obsessed. I'm never going to go back, and I can't believe it's $7, and I'm so grateful I saw this on her Instagram. Yeah, I got it as well. I love it. Mm -hmm. Okay, next up is a tanning find as well. These are the... I just love these. These are so good, but I'll get into it. These are the Tanologist Face and Body Drops. I got the shade Dark, and you can get these at Target. Uh, it's a new brand. I believe they only sell that at Target. It's like an in-house Target brand. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. No, but someone wrote that they were owned by Tan Lux or something. Oh. I'm not, I don't know the background exactly of the brand, but they're $20, so for tanning drops, I feel like that's a little bit cheaper than like the Isle of Paradise ones or any of them at mm -hmm. Sephora, really. And I got the Dark shade because my intention was was to be able to use less drops and I do think that's pretty true I'm, I'd get dark in like any tanning thing just because I like a good tan and um my tan is like fading really red I need to exfoliate it off um so don't like look at my skin as 
but these are so good. So basically how I like to use these is in between using my Saint Tropez Express Tan. So I'll use that like once a week, once every two weeks, and then like every other day I'll put these drops in my body moisturizer and it's really easy like I just do a pump of lotion and then two drops for each like lotion section so I'll do a pump of lotion two drops one leg a pump of lotion two drops the other leg my midsection my chest and then my arms um, so I feel like this will last me a pretty good amount I mean I have used a lot of it but I've been using it for a few weeks and I do think that the tan color itself is very natural looking it's not orange at all I find that these aren't streaky whatsoever because you're mixing it in with the lotion and I also apply my body lotion to wet skin based on Dr. Dre's recommendation so I also think that helps like when you're applying it to wet skin there's no room for streaks because it's so um, emollient on the skin but I really love these if you're just looking for like a normal I, I don't think it's super dark like I still think the Saint Tropez Express tan that we buy and love is um, the darkest tan that I found mm -hmm. um, but this is really good for maintaining a self tan or just if you want some color you could even use these like a couple times a week I just like how easy they are to use there's no there is a slight self tan scent but I can use this in my lotion in the morning and the scent doesn't really bother me throughout the day you can put clothes on over it uh, they're just effortless if you're really afraid of self tanning I would definitely give these drops a try they're really really impressive Okay, next up are the earrings I'm wearing. I cannot remember the name, but they're like the Madewell Oval Hoops. They look like this. I love them. I got them during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, so I believe they're new because they showed up on the sale and I'd never seen them before. Um, and I got them for like $10 off, which was a great deal, and I love Madewell jewelry, and my ears never react to them, so I thought it was a great opportunity to buy them, and I'm so happy I did because they're just kind of like a trendy look, but they're not heavy at all, so they're very comfortable. And I just think that they like really dress up any yeah, other. Really like cute. right now I'm just wearing a t-shirt and I think they're so, so cute. And they're the same gold as all the other Madewell jewelry we own. Quite a few earrings yeah, and um, necklace yeah, necklaces. Too. They're kind of like an antique looking gold, like not like a really bright gold, more of like a dusty, which I really like. I think it's really pretty. The posts are sterling silver, so our ears don't get irritated by them. So yeah, they're a great find and I would have even paid full price for them. And I'll link them down below because now I believe they should be on the Madewell site, which I did not see them when I saw them on the Nordstrom site. So either way, I'll link one of the links down below, but I love them. Highly recommend. Okay, next is a lip find. I recently placed an Ulta order with a bunch of new items that I hadn't heard of before that I wanted to try. And these didn't have any reviews, so I really took a gamble, but they were on sale. And they're the Ulta Beauty Velvet Matte Lip Crayons. And I love a good lip crayon. I feel like it's a lip liner lipstick hybrid. Mm -hmm. We love lip liners. Um, and you know, sometimes when you, you can use a lip liner to fill in all your lips, but it's time consuming, you have to sharpen it. And so a lip crayon is a really good alternative to doing that. Um, and I I thought that the colors that they had on the website were so beautiful. I got the shades Terrestrial and Sunstone. Let me swatch them for you. Hopefully you can see. Um, but I really have been enjoying these. I feel like they, I like them even Ooh, more. Sunstone is so pretty. I know, yeah. So this one is Terrestrial, the more pinkish one. And then Sunstone is like the good neutral brown. And I have such a hard time finding a good neutral nude, nudie brown, a deeper shade. And so that's the one I really gravitated towards. But like I said, they were on sale. So I got two. And I do really like them both. I like mixing them together, actually. They make a really pretty color together. Um, but I love this formula. It's super creamy. Like I wore it all day yesterday. And it wears off pretty evenly. So when you drink out of like a water bottle, like it does come off. Off a little bit but I prefer that because it's not super super matte it is matte it is kind of drying but I feel like it wears off really beautifully um, it does feel just kind of thin on the lips it doesn't feel too thick it doesn't super accentuate lines like I was trying to compare these in my mind to the Laura Mercier sticks and those like vary by shade in my mm -hmm. opinion some shades are less drying less matte some shades are too matte um, these I felt like overall were a creamier formula so if you like the um like a lip crayon but you don't want it to be super dry and super matte definitely try these i think i'm really 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 impressed with this formula i want to pick up some more shades um they're effortless to use i will say like this one it did break off so definitely be careful don't like um push it up too much leave it low uh, is because the bottom a sharpener break. like the bite ones um 
I don't think oh, so. Oh no, it does not look like But that. I do like how they're color matched, like mm -hmm. to the shade. And I do like how it has the shade on the side here, so you don't have to look on the bottom. Um, I don't know, I really love them. I definitely recommend them. Like I said, the shade selection, they had some really unique, interesting colors. I really love these two. I would highly recommend Sunstone, but Terrestrial's are really pretty like pinky nude. And then you, you guys and I usually don't go for that. Um, but this is, has like some peach peachiness to it, so I do really like it. And that's it for our weekly favorites, and we'll see you next week for another one.